expert for his views on leading a healthy lifestyle and his philosophy of healthy aging. And Andrew Weil joins us now in the studio. Welcome, doctor. It's nice to have you here. Good to be here. Well, he, he's been critical of what he sees as the future of medicine and health care. So let's get to the bottom of that. What's the basis of your criticism? Well, I think, uh, you know, my philosophy is integrative medicine, which is emphasizing the body's own capacity for healing and uh, places a great deal of focus on lifestyle. Most of our health care system is now dealing with uh, existing disease, a lot of which is lifestyle related. So rather than trying to promote health or prevent illness, we're really trapped into dealing with all of this lifestyle related disease. But we need doctors. Of course we need doctors. For but, health as but, well. But doctors need to be trained in much broader ways than they're currently being. For example, there's still essentially no training in nutrition in medical schools. And what could be more important in lifestyle than how we eat? Um, there, we, there's very little training about mind-body interactions, about many of the uh, treatments from alternative medical systems that can be very useful to us. Uh, so at the University of Arizona, our Center for Integrative Medicine trains physicians uh, to round out all of these deficiencies. You're a very strong proponent, I know, of preventive health care. What yes. do you want to see us doing? More. <laughs> the big problem we have in this country is that prevention doesn't pay. And all of the priorities of insurance reimbursement are geared toward tests, drugs, interventions. Uh, we don't pay doctors to sit with people and advise them about how to eat or teach them simple relaxation methods. We have to change that. So until the system catches up to what you think it needs to be, what should we as individuals be well, doing? Well, I think health is our responsibility. So it's up to us to learn the basics of, of good nutrition, uh, of how we should be physically active all the time, how to take care of our minds, how to get adequate rest and sleep, how to use natural remedies wisely. You know, that's really our responsibility. But it'd be great if your doctor could teach you and guide you in that. And you're going to help out with a new restaurant that you've opened in this new book, True Food. And the new restaurant in Cherry Creek North is True Food True Kitchen. Food, True Food Kitchen. This will be the sixth True Food Kitchen. I helped create this concept. A lot of the recipes are mine. And it's based on my anti-inflammatory diet, which I think is the healthiest way to eat. So what's on the menu? Lots of good food. It's mostly uh, fish and vegetables, but there's something for everybody. It's Mediterranean food, Asian food. Uh, meat eaters can find something there. We have things for vegans, for vegetarians, for people who eat gluten free. So, really, it, but it's local, sustainable, organic, and primarily delicious food that happens to be good for you. Well, you're a famous guy, so I told people on Facebook that I would have a chance to talk to you, and I asked them to tell me what they wanted me to ask. And one of uh, my followers on Facebook wants to know if there are any doctors in the Denver area that you would recommend that, there are, there are, that abide by this The lifestyle. Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine has graduated almost a thousand physicians now, and we're really ramping up beyond that. And a number of our graduates are here in Colorado in the Denver area. If you'll go to our website, which is azcim.org, A-Z-C-I-M. C-I-M as in mother? Dot O-R-G. Dot O-R-G. And then you'll find a link to click on it, find a practitioner. And you click on Colorado and you'll get all of our graduates. My goodness, you must be really proud of that. I'm very proud of that. All right, and one other viewer on uh, Facebook wants to know about this drug, New Vigil, and what it's being used for. This is a prescription drug. It's a relative of a more popular drug called ProVigil. It's a stimulant used for wakefulness and alertness officially to treat narcolepsy, but these things have become very popular among students uh, studying for exams and for, for alertness and so forth. How do you feel about it? Well, I think they should be used with caution regularly because they can cause dependence and there's a down that follows the period of stimulation. All right. Well, you're giving a lecture as well. If people want to know more about particular sure. medications or things that you have proposed. I'm speaking tonight at the Ellie Calkins Opera House at 7.30 on the art of health and happiness. Uh, my philosophy of integrative medicine and I'll, there'll be plenty of time for questions about any health concerns that people have. And there are lots of tickets available? Tickets are still available. And in the VIP section, people also get a chance to meet you Absolutely. and get your yes. autograph on their new book. Yes. And, uh, that's an, a wonderful time to sit down and have a little conversation with you. Look forward to meeting them. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Andrew Weil, for Thank being you, here. And you can find a link to ticket information for his lecture, lecture on the DenverChannel.com. Just scroll down to that infamous red TV button.